well, it's Boxing Day 2016, and um, yeah, it's a very, very um, sad day in the arts world. Um, he was born Georges Spaniotta in 1963. I know quite a bit about George Michael, I've read a couple of his books, and um, like a lot of people, I'm very familiar with his music. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's very sketchy, the details at the moment, but um, I was just watching BBC News last night, just as I was about to go to bed, and, um, and that was the headline. And naturally, it uh, arrested me in front of the, to be in front of the TV for most of the night. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a sad loss. Um, an extraordinary talent, been around for many, many years. I think his first single uh, with Wham was back in 1982. So he's been in the public eye for many, many years. Um, yeah, he's somebody who uh, meant an awful lot to me. And uh, two things that I just want to say in terms of outstanding talent and coolness, I suppose. Um, he conceived the idea for Careless Whisper when he was about 16 or 17. And, um, you know, to write a million selling single at 17 is just incredible. Probably one of his most famous uh, compositions. And um, I remember once I watched a uh, show called The South Bank Show, uh, which was introduced by Melvin Bragg. And this was about 1990. And Melvin Bragg said to him that you're obviously very careful and considered about, uh, considered about your career. And he said, do you reckon you've been in charge with it for a long time? And um, he said, probably from about two weeks after I got my record contract. Because um, basically, um, the people at the record company, he was prepared to do anything they wanted. If they could make him a pop star, they could, he, you know, he would do anything they wanted. And after about two weeks, he realized they didn't know, they didn't know how to make him a pop star. And they didn't know how, didn't really seem to know what they were doing. So he basically said, right, I'm not gonna do anything they want me to do and I'm going to lay it out exactly as I see it. And a hundred million record sales later, you know, <laughs> sometimes the people that are meant to know best don't always know best. Yeah, a real sad loss.